Jason Semangali here, the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome to your Daily Revolution. Today's topic, you gotta want it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Last night was amazing. So my son has a basketball game, and we hang out with the family, and we're playing some soccer afterwards. We're just spending time as a family, and it was just one of those nights where we sat our boys down, and for about 60 minutes... We went into coach mode and the talk mode and the teach mode. And this all came about because we've been wanting to push our sons harder. And more than us pushing them, we want them to push them. We want them to have a desire to get better, to become men of contribution. And I just feel like recently... Like my kids are amazing and I love them and my wife and I, we talk about how amazing our sons are and how much we love them and we just know that there's so much more inside of them. So last night we're sitting inside of the living room. I'm like, hey you guys, sit down. So as soon as I say sit down, they all sit down, line up, fold their legs, fold their arms and we start having some real conversations and the core of the conversation, the, 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 the middle of everything, the meat, was that you got to want it. And we just feel like they don't want it. Like they're okay coming in fifth place. Like they're okay not trying. And we started talking about stories from the scriptures of of these young men who were just valiant and exact. I was pulling up ET videos. It's crazy, right? I do these videos, but I'm their dad. So I'm pulling up Eric Thomas. You know the story about the guy when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. Pulling up videos of Will Smith and videos of Ray Lewis and just videos that I love was inspired by that I am inspired by and just showing our boys what it means and we're like hey what are you hearing and I'm like I don't don't want no 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 regular answer and they're like what do you mean I'm like don't give me the answer you think I want to hear I want to know what you're really getting because if you're not getting it then please let me know we're talking and they're crying and they're in tears because they're like but daddy I'm trying my best I'm trying my best and It was such a key distinction. It was such an incredible moment. And I'm like, son, right now your best is good. But you've got to get used to doing what's required. And he knows that. You see, how does this relate to you as a business owner, as an entrepreneur? It's really simple. You can do your best all day long. It will not win you the game. It will not bring you the the revenue or the income. You can do your best all day long. It's not going to level up your marriage. There's such a difference between doing your best and doing what's required. And the only reason you're going to do what's required is because you want it. You want it. Like you want it. You want something more than what you have. And whatever reason that you want it, it, it's irrelevant. The reason's irrelevant. As long as you want it, start with the desire. Start with the hunger. I remember back in 2011, as I went to knock doors, I was in my mid-30s. We had hit the bottom. We were financially poor. We were broke. We had nothing except each other. So we had everything. But we didn't have the material things and and the, the financial money and the reserves. And we were scraping along. And I was miserable. And I was so sick and tired of it. Like just sick and tired of it. I was so hungry. Like I wanted, I wanted to get out of the red into the black. I wanted to produce six and seven figures again. I wanted to make a difference for people. I wanted to go to bed at night knowing that I had done all that I could and that I was actually living my purpose. I was hungry. Five years ago as a coach, when I started this speaking, coaching, training, consulting, I was hungry. And see, good times make people complacent. Like I'm driving in my neighborhood right now. It's beautiful, it's manicured, right? There's an HOA, there's green everywhere. It's just every lawn, there's no weeds. I mean, this place is immaculate and it breeds comfort and breeds complacency and if my boys aren't careful and if we're not careful as parents we could easily teach them that hey this is just you know it's easy life's easy and there's not a care in the world and I know there's some people out there in different camps that would be like 
yeah, but you don't have to struggle. You know, you can just be at ease and peace. I'm like, that, that, that's good for you. Keep that over there where you are. Because the world that I grew up in, the world that I know, and the world that I believe in, if you want something and you want it bad enough and you're willing to go pay the price for it and you're willing to go put effort and work and hustle and grind and you're willing to go pay the price, you can get it. And you've got to learn how to become this type of person who can overcome adversity, who can get up and pick themselves up, especially when they don't feel like it, especially when they're having a rough day, especially when they're having a rough week, especially when adversity hits you in the mouth. So you got to want it. Last night, it was, it was beautiful. I ended with my sons coming to hug us and they're giving us these hugs and they're crying. Because they're like, Daddy, I promise I'm trying. I'm like, you, I know. And I told them this. I know you think you're trying your best. And I showed him with my hand, and that's about right here. But guess what? Your real best is way up here. And I raised my hand. I'm like, you can do way more, son. Way more. And it's a good 60 minute. Like, it wasn't this just like two minute blurb. Like, we were teaching and coaching and asking them questions and, and sharing scriptures and sharing movie lines and stories and examples from my parents and my wife's parents. I should have recorded it. See, this is how I know it sunk in. I'm talking about how you do anything is how you do everything and who you are anywhere is who you are everywhere. And I mean, I was giving them the, the lecture of lectures on work, effort, grind, hustle. And how do I know it's sunk in? Because part of it is my son, he'll vacuum, you know, we vacuum our, our stone floor or tiles and I'll go in behind him and vacuum and pick up so much stuff. So, you know, I'm like, son, the way you do your chores, is, is that how you are in school? Because he's like, but daddy, I do my best. I'm like, how you do anything? And he fills it in. It's how you do everything. I'm like, tell me about your chores. Do you do your best? And he's like, no. But you think you do? And he's like, yeah. And then I'm like, what happens when daddy comes and vacuums? They're like, you vacuum a lot more stuff. Tell me about your homework. And we're starting to talk about the zeros he had in school. We're talking about his effort in swimming. And right, this is my oldest. We're talking to my nine-year-old, my six-year-old. My six-year-old, he's still, you know, not focused. And he's like on his back, on his head. He's doing push-ups and pull-ups and as soon as we were done and my son was crying, he was in tears. He got up, he went and grabbed the vacuum, set it up, and he vacuumed the floor so, like, thoroughly. It was meticulous. The floor was immaculate. It was incredible. Like, he got it. Like, he he did it. Even my, my nine-year-old who was doing all the, the stack of dishes. He was like, Dad, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my very best. I'm going to get it done. That's all we want. But see, all this comes from you got to want it. Now, how does this apply to you? My friends, listen. Whether you're in your 60s, your 50s, your 40s, like it's not too late unless you don't start. And you got to want it. Like, you got to want it more than anything you've ever wanted. And you've got to start with this desire. This desire in your heart. You've got to want to become a greater speaker. Want to become a greater marketer or a greater salesman. Want to become... A greater husband, a greater father, a greater mother, a greater student. You got to have these desires and you've got to water those desires and you got to put gas on it so it just like ignites on fire. And not, nothing wrong with wanting. In fact, I would tell you to dial up the wantometer. Yeah, dial it up. Nothing wrong with it. See, there's context in everything. There might be a time where I say, hey, you got to dial it down. But for this podcast, for my sons, for where they're at in life, they got to dial it up. Because I know this, if they don't want it now, they don't develop the habits, the systems, right? The muscle memory. They don't develop these, this effort and this, this grind and this hustle, this hunger. And if they don't develop that now... It just gets harder. Like life is so different. But imagine what happens if you today, where wherever you are in your business, if you could just ignite the fire again, right? Ignite the hustle, the grind, the fire. Develop a habit. Develop these powerful ways of being in the world. That simply say, I want something. I'm not afraid to want it. I'm not afraid to be hungry for it. I'm gonna go get it. I want that thing. I'm gonna go get it. You gotta want it. So my question is, how bad do you want it? Oh, but so tell me you don't understand. It's like it's just it's like life has been so hard. What's your point? 
Of course, life's going to be difficult at times. Of course, life's going to deliver challenges. And life is beautiful. But so tell me, you don't understand, like, like it, my, my spouse. And I'm like, what about your spouse? Do you want it or not? If you want it, you've got to go do what's required to get it. You got to go do the work to get it. But but Satema, you don't understand. Like I was like, and here's the reality, my friends. Who cares if I don't understand? It? Do you really want me to understand? Oh, you don't. You don't want. You don't want me. You don't want anyone else out there to understand your pity party. You don't. What good does that do? Just get clear about what it is you want for your life. I talked to a buddy of mine, just finished up 20, 25 years in the police force, retired. Now he's, he's a young cat too. He ain't old. And he is in a new line of work and we just had a great conversation. He's just like, man, it's, it's about the daily process. I'm like, that's it. It's a daily process of building and growing and becoming better and becoming more skilled. But it all starts with the want. Do you want it? Are you willing to dial up your want to meter for money, for a connection to God, for service, for contribution, for a lifestyle, for the home, for the vehicles, for the travel, for the retirement, for the impact? Are you, are you willing to dial up the want to meter for whatever it is that you want for your life? Dial that sucker up. Dial it up. You got to want it. But if you want it, if you want to, a level ET says, if you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, you will succeed. Have an amazing day, my friends. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.